favorite bad bitch, Noni, back again with another badass video. If you're new here, make sure you stop right now and hit that subscribe button down below and become a part of our family. If you are a returning subscriber, as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for returning back again for another video. Now, I know it's been a week since I posted a video, you guys. I actually have just been trying to get my mental state in order and, you know, I, I gotta take care of me first. I love you guys and I definitely wanna make sure I'm always coming back with videos back to back. But I had to make sure I got my mental on track and just gave myself some time to, you know, think in my process and, and all of that. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. But I gave myself some time to relax, get in my thought process, get my thoughts together, chill, vibe out with myself, and figure out things that I need to do. But now I am back and I'm in my good, right state of mind. So we're going to go ahead and I got a lot of videos for you guys this week. As you guys can read by the title today, we're going to be doing my everyday summer makeup routine. Now, of course, I do not wear makeup every single day, but if I did wear makeup every day, this would be the look. This is my go-to look because it's not anything drastic. It's not anything extra. It's just more of a natural everyday look or whatever. Hold on, guys. I tried to curl my hair, y'all, but they completely fail. I also just don't know how to curl hair, so... We gonna learn how to do that on this channel too because I need to learn. But um, yeah, this is just my basic natural makeup summer vibe, you know, something just to make me look, you know, a little bit extra cute. It's not a extra glam, something like I wouldn't got my makeup done or anything like that. Now I am not a makeup guru, guru. I am not a makeup YouTuber. I don't even know how to do makeup for real. I just know how to do this. This is all I know how to do. And I'm still learning and trying to perfect it, guys. So <laughs> bear with me. But I like to start off with this e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer that I got just from Walmart. You could probably get it from, I actually got this from Target, but you can probably get it from any like drugstore type of makeup aisle. Um, it's just to help so that your pores aren't really showing. It kind of masks them and makes your face look smooth so that your foundation doesn't look really cakey. And I just like to massage that all over my face. So then I just take any spoolie and I just start brushing out my eyebrows into the direction that I want for them to be laid in for when I get ready to start filling my eyebrows in. And then I just take a dark brown eyebrow pencil. This one is actually black brown, but it's a little too dark. So I probably should get a different one, but yeah. It's a long story. So now I'm just gonna start at a little bit behind the inner corner of my eyebrow and just going to line the bottom of my brow. And then from there, I'm just going to fill in my eyebrow from bottom up and then you know line the top a little bit. You just wanna make sure everything is nice and filled in, not too heavy, not too dark. And then after that, you're just gonna take um, that spoolie again and just blend everything out and get everything nice and full coverage and even. You're just gonna do the same thing to both brows, obviously. Next, I'm gonna be taking my Sephora concealer in Bright Future, and I'm just going to underline the bottom of my brow, and I'm just gonna highlight that to clean up my eyebrows a bit. For under brows, I always like to use a concealer that is lighter than my actual eye, just so you can have that natural highlight underneath it. And then I just like to let that dry a little bit because I don't really like how it works, like when it's wet. I don't know how to explain it. And then you just want to line that and get it super, super crispy so you can have those one fleek ass eyebrows. I don't even say one fleek. I don't even know why I said that. But so I can have those super crispy eyebrows that i mean every girl loves who doesn't want crispy eyebrows
Now I'm just gonna take a beauty blender and uh, blend that out so it's not super harsh. Just blend it all on down. And then, you know, you can do some eyeshadow or something if that's what you do. I'm not doing eyeshadow, so I just blend it out to where it just looks pretty natural. And then I like to, you know, crispy up the edge part in the middle of my eyebrow so that it's not smudgy looking. And then next I'm going to take my Fit Me foundation in the color 338 Spicy Brown. And I'm going to use that to line the top of my eyebrows and clean those up so that it... I, don't, I do um, my foundation, same color as my skin for that, so that it's not that halo effect at the top. And then, yeah, I'm just going to line those up and, you know, get them nice and crispy and then blend that out as well. Next, I'm taking that exact same um, foundation because that's kind of used for my face. And I just like to pour some more out on my hand, make it easier. Then I'm just going to dab my beauty blender in it and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that all over my face evenly um, I've been trying to get into making myself put just like a little more foundation on than I usually do just to get that actual full coverage so that it lasts longer but yeah I don't really like it super cakey but that's just what I'm doing here I think it's a really good match for my face mainly my cheeks i feel like my chin and my forehead i could actually get a darker foundation but yeah this is all i have and now you see me here just blend bringing that foundation down to my neck so we don't have that ghost face where it just stops right at the at your jaw line and doesn't match your neck because that just looks stupid so yeah let's just yeah we're just gonna watch me do that Now I'm taking my same concealer as well and I'm just going to start to conceal my I mean I'm this is me highlighting and contouring my face so I'm just going to start here by highlighting my under eye down kind of the sides of my nose and I'm just going to do that on both sides of my face I'm also going to do it down, down the middle of my nose, my forehead, and my cheeks. And then after that, I let it dry a little bit. Then I take another beauty blender and I just start to blend that all out, starting from bottom to top to kind of build it up into your creases of your eye. But y'all, y'all need to help me out. I haven't been able to figure out how to not make my eyes crease underneath yet. Like, no matter what I use, no matter how good product, give me some tips, y'all. Now I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Espresso and I'm just going to use this to do my contouring. Um, I'm going to use it for my cheeks, which I feel like I can actually get a little bit of a darker color. But I actually really, really like how this color looks on my um, nose. So I may just keep this one only for my nose and get a darker one for my forehead and my jawline and my cheeks. But here I'm just, y'all. Nose contour is everything to me. Like, I cannot fuck with makeup if my nose is not snatched. Like, seriously. And then after I do all this, I'm just going to go ahead with a beauty blender or, you know, you can use a brush or whatever and blend that all out.
Next, I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Banana Powder to set my highlight, which I don't even like this powder. I thought that it looked good on black people, but I think it looks crazy. It makes my skin like, oh my God, it just makes it super, super white. It makes it super cakey looking, and I'm not even putting on that much. And you know, it makes me look like a ghost, and I just don't like it. So I would advise maybe, I don't know, I'm gonna try something else. So maybe or maybe not get this, or maybe I'm using it wrong. Let me know, y'all. Now I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush, and I'm just going to brush all of that um, banana powder off my face and kind of blend it in with my contour. And I don't use any specific brushes or sponges because I haven't really got into all that yet. I'm looking I'm looking for that right now to actually get some good brushes because I feel like the brushes that I use, they don't really, I feel like they soak the product in and don't really put it on my face. So let me know some good brushes. Now I'm taking, I'm taking my NYX Three Steps Contour Palette, which is in uh, the color pale, which is too light for me. So this contour um, dark color actually it's, you see it's barely even showing it's just not that good for me i definitely need to get a darker palette for my contour because right now it's just kind of washing out my contour i feel like but i bought a new one you guys but it just definitely was not the right color it was super ashy and gross looking so i'm using this just because i have to set it or it will not stay but you know you get the right kind for you Now I'm just buffing out my nose contour so that it's not extremely harsh. And I'm just taking another small brush and I'm just, you know, smoothing that out, getting it to look all nice and perfect. Now I'm taking my CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume um, Mascara and I'm just going to use that for my bottom lashes. If I had on false lashes, I will also do that on the top, but I'm wearing extensions and you're not supposed to do that, so I'm not going to do that today. I missed this step this is eyebrow like holder gel and I'm just gonna put it on top of my brows to make my brows last all day long it actually really really works it's by elf so it's pretty cheap but it really does work guys now I'm taking this NYX or NYX I don't know do we finish um, setting spray just because I feel like that blends all my makeup together better than like the matte kind but then next I'm going to take the matte kind of all nighter by urban decay ultra matte and I'm going to spray that everywhere this is because it's summertime summertime if I only use dewy I'll be super super greasy so I and it looks crazy so I'm just going to take this which I spray entirely entirely too much and I didn't realize that until after and it was extremely too matte but that's going to keep me from looking greasy all day guys now I'm taking my Fenty Beauty highlighter in the color Trophy Wipe and I'm just going to use my broke pinky finger and I'm just going to use that to highlight my under eye, I mean my under eyebrow and I'm also going to use it to highlight my um, cheekbones, my nose, the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose and then a little bit on my forehead. I don't really like highlighter on my, um, I don't really like it on my forehead or on my chin. But I, I threw a little bit. I really, really love this highlighter though. Brianna went off. She snapped. Now here I'm just buffing it out so it's not too harsh, you know. I know the vibes. We don't look want harsh stuff. Now I'm gonna take both my setting sprays again and I'm just gonna reset my face to set the highlighter. And once again, using too much of the matte, y'all. Now I'm gonna be using my Urban Decay in the color Conspiracy Lip Liner, and I'm gonna use that to, you know, we're gonna get this lip combo popping. This was a new lip combination I actually tried this day. I actually never tried this. So I'm gonna use this liner first, and then I'm gonna go over it with a um, like dark brown pencil that I just got from the hair store, so I'm not really sure what it's called. I can probably, I'll put it in the description box. But I'm gonna go over um, this Conspiracy with that one. 
just a second here it is and so I'm just gonna go over my lip with that just to darken it up because I didn't want it like super super of that reddish color that the conspiracy has and I'm just gonna do that and I'm going to bring that down a little bit onto my lip just to make it more of a coverage of like lipsticky and then I'm gonna take this NYX in the color I think it's in the color blush it's like lipstick liquid lipstick and I'm just going to put that on top of my liner and just see where the color takes me, guys. I don't know, y'all. I, I ain't real good on lip combos yet either. Give me a good lip combination, y'all. Now lastly, you can just take any clear lip gloss from the hair store and just, you know, give yourself that cute ass pop of shine because, you know, we got to have the lip gloss. I do not play by my lip gloss, y'all. And that is the finished look, guys. All right, baddies. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. That is it for my everyday summer makeup routine. Please make sure you give me some suggestions because I'm sure it's some stuff that I need to work on, especially like my under eye. I swear it just still creases no matter what I do with it. Help me out, y'all, help me out. I need a lash fill in, so I didn't put on any lashes in this video, but normally I will put it on lashes or I will have my lashes filled in. So if I look a little caca, you know, don't mind it because we just gonna, you know, work with what we got, okay? But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you like this video up, like it up, like it up, like it up. Leave me all those good comments and everything. Oh, Y'all already know the vibes. Y'all already know the vibes, okay? I'm out. I gotta go to this dang on gender reveal and I am running a little bit late. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as I already said. Make sure you turn on that bell notification so you always notify every time I make a new video. And of course, I will see you guys again in my next video.